drive down. All the cables. Turn on the lowering. And spin her out. What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. I've got a top secret bait to share with you guys today. Thanks to my friend Fish and Grubs for egging me on to make this thing. I feel like this thing is an absolute game changer. So check this out, here it is. We've got a drop shot and a Ned rig together because the Ned rig acts as the drop shot weight. What, what, this is ridiculous. I mean, when Grubs first mentioned it, I was like, Pfft. and then five seconds later, I was like, oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. So I'm stoked. We're gonna throw this today a whole bunch. I'm gonna probably try a few different colors. Right now I've got the Savage Gear. Uh, it's like a tube style Ned, Gobi style Ned, pretty sweet. And then at the bottom, we've got the June Bug Turd Tickler. And I paired that up with the Mad Bites EWG Ned that you guys saw me get the other day. So we're gonna test those out a lot today as well. Probably gonna end up throwing good old Shark Deuce on here and maybe even that new Mood Ring color that I picked up the other day. I'm, I'm stoked, I'm excited for this. And if it hammers, maybe you guys will get out and start hammering on this thing too. I'd be so pumped about that. All right, before we get started today, if you guys like the content, if you like unboxings, reviews, fishing videos, all of that, we do it here on the channel. So consider subscribing, smash the like on this video, ring that notification bell, helps me out a lot when you guys do that. I'd love to see you here more often. Speaking of more often, every Thursday, 8 p.m. Eastern, we go live. Me and my buddy Paul talk to the coolest people in the fishing industry, learn about new products coming out, tips and tricks from awesome content creators out there. You won't want to miss it. Plus, we do a giveaway every single week. So pop in there. We'd love to see you there and talk to you in chat. All right, let's go fish this baby, shall we? can go most anywhere to feel like I belong. Oh, and hung up down there. Oh, just got swiped at. On. Well, I got a fish for the day. <laughs> it's not on what we're supposed to be catching on, but it's on what I assume we would catch on. There we go. Yo, I haven't got a chance to fish these yet. This is the uh, the Gobi, the Savage Gear Gobi and the uh, Mad Bite Ned Rig. So guess what? Mad Bite Ned Rig EWG's work. Did its job, did its thing, caught me a very malnourished bass. Sorry, pal, that wasn't food, but you'll get food eventually. I'm certain of it. A lot of you guys have talked about how the Mad Bites have this very small gap at the top, and I hear you, but just use better plastics. <laughs> I don't like using normal, like, Plastisol plastics, honestly, for my Ned Rigs. It's Z-Man, and we just had Nico Bates on the podcast. It's got, like, Nico Bates, and this Savage Gear is a similar, like, elastomer uh, plastic, so it'll hold up. It'll hold up. All right. And we just proved that uh, the net bite's on for the day. So I got this on the lighter EWG. I think it, I'm on. Hang on. I'm on. No. Dude, they are smacking this thing right now. Are you kidding me? <gasps> Giant. Bowfin? You can't seriously be going after this, but maybe you are. Dude. On that light gear. Feels like a savage bass. Oh god. <laughs> a little pound and a half or feels like a freaking tank on that light gear. <laughs> there we go again. Yo, did this just turn into a Ned Rig video? For crying out freaking loud. Let's get you out of here, my guy. Later, dude. All right. So this is possibly the best Ned Rig ever. Holy cow, I'm just kidding. You guys, you know what the best net rig is. Here we get into some depth. There's some bass right there, but it seems like they're hugging the bank today. It means fun times that we are gonna have. If you're in rougher cover, I would use those like tapered 
EWG heads that Z-Man makes, finesse bullets, that would be the play. Normally they'd be spawning right here, but it's about two feet shallower than it should be. So I think that's what pushed them out to the other sections. Damn. Oh, on. Okay. On the drop shot? Yes! Yes! Hit the drop! He swallowed it! <laughs> oh my gosh! Yo, there you go. That was on the drop, not the Ned. Double freaking whammy, my dudes. Bam! Bam! I'm gonna swap out this finesse to a purple. Purple, I'm feeling. What do you guys think? You with me? Mood ring? I think mood ring's the jam. Dude, I might try the frog on it. Let's try this. So that goby is crushing it today. Let's go with another purple. Water is super green right now. Weird. Here we go, we got the purple drop dead mid. Oh, that's juice. Oh, it's so juicy. Mm. It's so juicy. Mm. Dude, just, I got smacked. Must have been a little guy. As my phone went off, I got hit. Are you kidding me? What they hit? Drop. Little guy smoked the drop. All right, drop is getting some play now. I'm telling you guys. I'm gonna go over to the big ledge where I think the big ends will be. Currently, Dink City, USA. If you can throw Alabama rigs, you can throw the drop dead net, so shut up. <laughs> That's what I say. You throw 87 hooks out there. Yeah, you got a shot. <laughs> you got a good shot. <laughs> this is where I'm thinking a lighter net on the bottom might be a better play because I'm seeing them up higher in the water column right now. Got him. He was on the drop. Didn't set the hook. Damn. Look, it didn't even like penetrate. <laughs> oh my gosh. Had one. Subtle bite. Subtle bite. This is a spot right here. I'm gonna anchor up, in fact. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to anchor you jerks. He was on the Ned. Dude, alternating spots right now. He was on both. Hit both. Oh my gosh. What is happening? <laughs> I'm off my spot, like way off. Shoot my thumbnail. I think we're on. Yep. Got him. <laughs> Subtle bite on the Ned. On the Nedley. Here we go. Dink City. Dink Dink City trick. Alright, well, if you guys want to catch purely just dinks and you're in green water, throw goby and purple. Goby patterns, purple patterns. And then find weed cover, throw into it, and then wait. Yo, I was on again. Are you freaking joking, my butt? <laughs> no. I was on the drop. I love you can tell where they're hitting, too. The plastic just kind of melts away. They're on the spot. Dang. Little guys. Smacking that drop. Borderline illegal amount of fun. Dude, all right. Now we're starting to miss fish. Something's going on here. Hang on. Idea. I don't need to be weedless, so I'm not gonna be. See you back there. Flip them in, finally, on that drop again. Nice, see? Way better work on that drop shot there. Dink a dink a dink a dink a dink 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 a dink 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 It's B, dude. This B will not leave me alone. Really pissing me off. All right, 
So, Drop Dead Ned, doing its heckin' freaking job. B, doing a terrible job. I am not a flower. Do not pollinate around me. Go away. Is that a gar? <gasps> no! It's a freaking gar pike. What is he doing? Oh my gosh! Fuck it. There's the spot. We are on. Damn it. That just got broke off. Dude. Must have been a freaking tank. Holy cow. Bit off at the drop shot? Dude. I told you. Holy cow. Inhaled at the drop shot hook freaking palomar knot wow okay so it's actually totally fine not pissed at all not even hurt in the slightest iron man see no big deal the nice thing is these med rigs not super expensive so it's fine but i want to know what kind of freaking tank monster butthole just ate my rig got him, got him, got him. <laughs> i don't want to talk about it <laughs> why didn't why? Why? <laughs> Let's just all agree that that never happened. Cool? Cool, me too. Totally did. T -t totally did. Mine. Redemption bass. Right in the top of the mouth. Look at that. Thanks, my guy. They're hitting the bottom right now. So this is kind of cool too about this rig because you can see if they're hitting top or bottom right now, they're hitting bottom. It's getting warmer. Water temp has gone up four degrees since I got out here. Sun is peaking, it's almost noon. And uh, surprise, surprise, they're biting on bottom. Oh my god, I hate this reel. This reel has to go. This reel is done. Dead to me. This is one of the steeper ridges where most people will not bank fish this spot. So, it's kind of a untouched. Oh, oh he had the drop shot in his mouth. Little guy just came up. Here, watch. He'll hit it again. He's thinking about it. He's like, I'm going to turn around. Don't be dumb, you big dumb idiot. Dink City. Population me. He's on it. Ned. <laughs> oh, no. Got it out quick. Get him out of here. Good grief. Ned drop, Ned drop. <laughs> I'm about ready to start fishing out. So I gotta get back for lunch. Workout in before three o'clock. I think we've got our footage for the day, my friends. Ooh, good one, good one, good one. Good one, good one. Good one on the drop shot. Good one, best of the day. On the drop. Oh, he's mad. Oh, he's pissed. <laughs> there you go. That's the deal, my dudes. This is the new deal. You gotta be freaking joking me, man. Sick. All right. Thank you, friend. Um, wow. Oh, I don't know why my drag is not working, but thank you so much. Oh, yes, yes. 
car was like, oh, let's get out of here. Well, glad I brought all this tackle. <sighs> what a heckin' sweet rig, man. We're gonna get one. We're gonna get one more. For certainly. Don't you fret. At them right now, in fact. Yep. Oh my gosh. I lost my, uh, lost the Ned rig. Shoot. Oh, there you go. Hitting that drop shot. I'd say drop shot kind of won the day. It's nice to be able to have like multiple options with this rig. There we go. Alright. Later, my dude. Whew. That's what he did to this thing. Good grief. Tank for the rub. Toad for the road? Is that a thing? Did that just become a thing? Toad for the road, my friends. Well, I guess the day really got away from me because I didn't even film an outro for this one. So here it is. Let me know what you guys thought of the drop dead net. Have you seen this technique before? Do you think it could be a game changer? Is it something that you're gonna try in your local waters? I'm interested to hear your perspective on this. Hit me up in the comments below. I think we can all agree that it's perfectly fair considering there's other double hook methods. You can throw a trailer hook on any bait, really. Uh, you can do a line through method on swim baits. You can throw Alabama rigs. So to me, not cheating. Kind of a cool technique, one that I'll be using more often. Definitely not exclusively, but something that was really fun for me to fish on this day. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the content and the technique and maybe try it out. Let me know how it goes for you in your local waters. Either hit me up in the comments below or tag me on Instagram with any catches that you have. I'd love to share you in my stories and give you a shout out. Thanks for watching today, you guys. If you like the content, be sure to subscribe to the channel, smash the like on this video, ring that notification bell so you can see when we drop more content, and then come hang out with me on our next live. Every Thursday, 8 p.m. Eastern, I go live with my buddy, Paul, and we talk to some of the coolest people in the fishing industry. We also do a giveaway every single episode, so come join us for one. It'd be fun to see you there and talk to you in chat. All right, you guys, thanks again for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.